Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. Um, some updates to my list. Uh, first of all, I'm playing Season Pyromancer now, because Bomat was really underperforming in my opinion. Um, it's not aggressive enough in this type of deck, and Season Pyromancer offers a lot more. Like The, the Season Pyromancer just goes wide on its own, and that's very relevant in my opinion. And playing Relic in the side, um, I do love Surgical Extraction as a card. I think that in this list, you rather have the slow gain from Relic rather than the instant uh, ability from Surgical, basically. And actually, I need to update my deck on Stream Decker. Uh, okay, the rest of the list looks like this. Let me edit the Surgical out. The relic of progenitors in. Okay, everything's fine and dandy now. So yeah, let's 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 go for it. Browse Obosh. Season environments are in. Okay. Now, I will need to focus because I feel like yesterday the three, the two three that I got was 100% my fault. So I don't want, I don't want to get a good result here. Now also more tempted to play some Bonza sometime. But still need to get some cards here. But I really like this disruptive aggro deck. It's taking some time. Are there any other events today? Or is it just... Tomorrow that the legacy event starts. Should be tomorrow, right? Uh, that's a great hand. It's a really great hand. Um. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. Ooh, Maru. So I am tempted to just go for it here, but I do think that I shouldn't. I need the removal. My opponent plays a creature here, or has discard plus creature, or has discard. I want some action. Oh, so this is something prisony, right? Oh, I know what this is. It's Mardu Prison. Okay, so we gotta be fast here. So I'm just gonna go for it. The burn play style. I'd have liked the land to deploy my board, but this will have to do. Now let me let me pull up the list. Pretty wacky. It's a pretty wacky one. Should be a Chandra. Yeah, it's gonna kill my dude. They're in. They're in O 
both of Kaya, that's pretty annoying. Uh, okay, what's, what's their main plan here? Okay, I'll assume that because that was a Chandra and not like a Najani. I'm gonna kill the Chandra here. Um, I think I want to disrupt their card advantage more than I want to get them lower. Because getting them down to five doesn't mean much here. Um, the list, maybe I could, yeah, Kai is just too good here, too good here, um, kind of don't want to put seasoned pyromancer in the graveyard for Kaya. So if I draw a blank here. This guy is going to be quite painful if she pops off. Oh, uh, this is like a board wipe or something. That's actually not awful. Ooh, that's very good. I'm waiting here because I think I might be able to win if he doesn't gain any life here. How do I share a specific list on Magic Online? Uh, maybe I can do it like this. this work uh, okay that's good that's my opponent uh, basically grasping at straws no oath of Kaya they play one oath of Kaya in the main hopefully we don't hit that um, oh, rather, hopefully they don't hit that. I think they would have just slammed it if that were the case. I'd be thinking about cracking this. Okay, this guy can kill my elemental, so need to be somewhat careful here. Sure, that's that's irrelevant. Okay. Best case scenario, my opponent doesn't. Um down take Kaya on my elemental. What's this? Ooh, 
I hope that's the... Come on, don't down take Kaya. Okay, what else do they play? Play four lightning bolt, but he has no colors to cast those. Okay, so I think. I th oh wait, wait. This has text. Oh, you gain that much life. So that's a problem. That was definitely a problem. This seriously drains for that much. I'm attacking here because they fly. Yeah, okay. I can double ping that. And maybe have a chance of winning here. You need to draw really well. They do have some good draws. It's a decent one. Is this a Karn? Fetching... What can he fetch? He can fetch a Worm Coil Engine here. I basically lose. Which Brain Orb? A text on that. You have hex proof. Sure. It's not great. Not great at all. Uh, I need to kill that Karn. I need to kill that Karn here. Ah, oh, but <laughs> getting. Um, if I get that Karn down to one, ooh, my opponent has something here. Oh no, he doesn't. Never mind. Okay, here's my here's my issue. If I dart this, my next play is just bad. Whereas if I get it down to one. My opponent can't wish for anything. Next turn I might be able to Spyro plus do something relevant. This one is looking, is looking real tough. I really didn't know that Kaya had uh, basically a lifeling on her ultimate. That really changes things. It 
it's not what I need. It's absolutely not what I need. I need to kill the Karn because of Worm Coil Engine. Hopefully it blocks Soul Scar Mage. It blocks the Elemental. Sure. Don't like it as much, but it's a fine trade. Come on, land. Yes, finally. Still in it, and like my opponents. Oh, that was not great. Although, Obosh is a consideration. I think that Obosh is what's gonna pull me through, especially since I have Lava Dart in the grave. As soon as I cast Obosh, I have 8 damage here. All I need is Nahiri to not blow up. If I could top deck a bolt here, I'd be pretty happy because I can get Nahiri down to one. <laughs> of course, this this means that Nyvon can't play anything here. Oh, he had a firebolt in the grave. Can I just drawing cards? He has one of each basic. Okay, that's relevant to know. Yep. I think I might kill Nahiri next turn, which sucks, but... on a lot of cards actually. What can he play that makes my life hard? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He has 9 mana, so Emrakul's a little bit off. That's fine. Boom Bust is a problem. Sets back my Obosh. He has some board wipes which he might be holding on to. Pillage is a problem. Oh yeah, that's it's definitely a problem. Now my opponents... Dependent of me not drawing like a creature the next two turns. Knowing myself I won't. Super poorly, actually. It kind of sucks. I need some direct damage here. 
or else my opponent's just gonna get an Emrakul down. That's gonna be pretty unbeatable. And that sucks. He's cracking it for sure. Oh, he's playing something. Uh, yeah, okay. I think I basically lose here. Firebolt works for a turn, I guess. Kinda can F6. Do I have any outs in this game? I don't think I even have enough lands to cast Obosh. Well, that could be relevant. I think I just lose, right? What can I potentially draw here? Land is bad now. I'd need a lightning bolt to hold on to hold off Nahiri for more than one turn. So I bolt this, then I can cast giant on the following turn. I have to assume that Giant dies. Like, my opponent hasn't cast a single Lightning Bolt yet, I think. Yeah, no Lightning Bolt yet means... Is this just a uh, land destruction? Okay. This pretty much seals the deal. Yeah, okay. Okay, the Dream is dead, basically. Uh, I think Blood Moon is good. I think Flame Slash is very poor. It's quite good. That's the only trade, right? Do they play any? Emrakul has protection from colored spells, so Path isn't good. Yeah, I think this is the only trade. This doesn't hit Planeswalkers, right? Sadly. Okay, so now we have some artifact removal. We can nullify their lands with Blood Moon. The plan is pretty much the same, actually. I think I, I misplayed game one because I genuinely thought that Kaya's ultimate only dealt damage. This isn't even a, a question of not knowing. Like, I was so sure that it only dealt damage. I'm not gonna keep a one-liner against a boom bus deck. <sighs> Still not gonna keep this one-liner. I will keep a two-liner. But yeah, I think I misplayed by not respecting the Kai. I was so sure that it was only damage that I didn't even think about raining. I didn't even thought about raiding the card. I was just so sure that. So when a card came out, I opened one in paper. I was pretty happy that. 
I'd drawn a mythic. I shouldn't have fetched the white. I don't need it. Oh well. So the last game was a bit dangerous in terms of life totals. Like if they had a bolt, I would have been dead to... Okay, Blood Moon is good here. Blood Moon is good here. Now they need a fetch for white or they're screwed, basically. They really need a white to close out the game. Come on, land. God damn it. God damn it. Do I have anything here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I will put him down to four. I'll be on no lands. Like, how good can that actually be? That blood moon is gone. Oh, that was the perfect window because then flagstones doesn't trigger off of their land destruction spells. Oh, why? Why did, didn't, didn't this swift spear attack? Was it lethal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that was lethal too. God damn it. The game kinda lagged when I clicked Swift Fear, so I clicked it again. And that don't work. Just a perfect window to win. Now I probably just lose. If I lose off of that, I'm gonna be so pissed. Then I'm going to play like Nahiri here. Just Nahiri into no land for no interaction. And then. So bad. Wait, that's actually fine, right? Wait, why wouldn't he helix my soul scar? That just sounds like a mistake, if I'm gonna be honest. I think I need to kill Ajani here. There's really no way around it. I'm still pissed I misclicked there. That would have been lethal, right? Even with my, even with my, because with my situation of lava darts, my opponent couldn't bolt the swift spears. He could double bolt them, though. <sighs> What's this? What's he fetching? Ooh, glass casket. Uh, 
Um, kind of have to kill the glass casket, right? I'm just so sad I missed lethal. I'm in a really tough position here. Uh, my opponent can fetch Worm Coil. One, two, three, four, five. He can cast Worm Coil. And if he does cast Worm Coil, I'm never winning. I need to kill the Karn here. I do think that if he went for glass casket instead of like a like a coating or Trinus, I think that he needs Karn to survive. So I'm gonna kill off Karn. This is so bad. So bad. This is a really tough matchup, not gonna lie. If he has anything here, I pretty much lose. Need a lot going on for me to win this one. Luxons gets any planes, right? Yeah. That's good, that's good. Okay, okay, so no. This deck really needs its lands to function, and needing to kill stuff with darts from my graveyard isn't really great. A uh, perfect draw is land land for casket removal and then pyromancer draws. Oh, what not? So I'm gonna play with black. What's this? Okay, I don't think I can. Uh, I don't think I can play through that Chandra. Unfortunately. Okay, okay, so uh, I lost to a misclick. Uh, it sucks when it happens, but I'm not sure if game three was going to be winnable or at least easy. Damn, that deck really is something. It's like actual. An actually good prison deck, surprising. All right. So our objective is simple. We want the four one. Okay, but let's take some let's try and take some data from that game. What I should I should start writing down my matchups. Uh I think it's relevant data. So I'll start writing them down. I have a pen somewhere. Smart prison. I was on the play and it was a loss loss. Okay. New game, new life. Uh, I don't like that hand actually. I like this hand much better. Shipping away a lava dart. I kind of want to play Seasoned Pyromancer as my 
top ender here. Foothills. Am I doing anything here? My bolting face. Yeah. Foothills usually indicates uh, creatures, because red and green, very creature based. Oh, but I should have cast them. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe just I should have cast Firebolt at least. Oh, it's Infect. Wait, what am I doing? I want to kill this. Oh, god damn it. Why am I so bad at this game? I wanted to I wanted to kill the spell skite. Why did I point that at face? I I really need to really need to thing about what I'm doing, like what I was doing with Burn, I really need to do that more with this deck. Just uh, vocalizing my plays, I think. This was very sloppy. Very sloppy. I think that most of my sloppy plays are because of me just tasting them. Now I am playing this. I'm discarding the lands to find more lands. I'm thinking I'm dead here. If I had killed Spellskite, now I have Lava Dot. No. Animates the Nexus. Does he have Scale Up plus Might of? Scale Up into Might or Groundswell. And that flies. Okay, okay. So, definitely one path. Definitely one path. Uh, and I think that's it, right? What don't I want? Actually, cutting light up the stage. Uh, sounds bad here. I can't main phase it with. Can first main phase it because I need to hold up my damage cards and might want to keep blockers up. 
Anybody else? You know, okay. Okay, okay. Let's try it again. This is in fact again on the play and I lost game one. Uh, this ends fine. I have interaction. Let me fetch here. Kind of don't mind seeing the um, fifth land, but if I can avoid that on curve, I'll be happy. Cool. Am I attacking here? No, I need it. I need it as a blocker. Because he. I wouldn't can kill me next turn. And that, that could have been a kill. So I need removal. Yeah, that works. Like this play pattern tells me that my opponent is playing more in the protection it's playing more the protection than the than the threats it has no target it's cool I need to do this here. Might need to block this next attack. Maybe not if my opponent misplays. Taps Pendlehaven for a reason. Might get a shot in. Though all, his, all of his buff spells are instant speed. So I don't really think I'll get a... Um, I don't really think I'll get a, an opportunity to use... Ooh, a Birds, that's actually pretty good. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Clean to damage. Mm. What's my opponent trying to do here? Uh, 
Oh wow, it is a member. So if I do this, Again, I'm quite low. Okay, so opponent at three. Opponent at three. He's digging for it. Um, if he actually found it. I'll concede to, to that, basically. This is this member. It was spell sky, sure. It's actually not great for me. Getting that. Ooh, those infect points down. Hopefully I draw removal. Ah, oh, goddammit. <laughs> okay, so here are my plays. I can firebolt this. He needs the spell skite, paying two life. I then attack. I then attack. He needs to block. He loses this. He's down to one. And now that he's at one, he can't crack this, but scale up is six. Scale up is six, seven from this, and I die. Or any of those that gives four is enough for lethal. So I can't firebolt here. Okay. Yeah, I should really talk through my... I, I did that with burn a lot. But, ooh, we might have lethal here. You might have lethal here. Like, unblockable plus... So I win, right? No, you can pay blue. You can actually pay blue for this. For my firebolt. So what are my plays here? If I firebolt and attack, he double blocks me. Like this. Or like this. So this doesn't even... Oh, uh, it dies. So, and he gets another turn to see lethal. I'd rather just find a spell here. It's actually really good. So, do I attack first? Yes. Okay. I actually shouldn't have attacked with all my dudes. Because uh, he has double protection on... on elf. He has double protection on elf.
He has double protection on elf. So I should should not have attacked with all of my creatures. <sighs> now what am I doing? He pumps this. He pumps this. I think I actually lost here. Because he pumps this here and it's a 2 3 against my 2 3. And mine dies because of the counters. So get 2. But he has 1, 2, 3, 4 infect damage. So any buff spell, like any infect buff spell kills me. Just any buff spell kills me here. So I think. I think I lost. Still force out the mistake somewhere. Or even as double. Yeah, god damn it. Shouldn't have attacked with all of them. I should have. I can still win if he whiffs, but if he doesn't whiff, it's my fault. That's definitely not a whiff. That's the speed of someone that has a plan in their hand. Okay, so... Taking notes. Taking some notes. Basically, uh, if you punt, you're gonna lose. Oh. So he has it, wait. Okay, so I definitely, I most definitely punted. Shouldn't have attacked with everyone. Uh, I'd still have a creature here. And you wouldn't have blocked with birds, probably. Okay, so I, I think I think I was always going to lose this one. Damn. Clean O2. Maybe, maybe I need some extra practice with this one. Well, but that's what this is, right? Call it beginner's luck for my trophy, and now I'm learning the the deck. Which is fine, honestly. I've uh, been meaning to expand my deck choices. And Burn is still my favorite deck, but I'm really digging Obosh. I'm really digging Obosh. It's unkeepable. That's much better. I like that this deck molds a lot better than Burn, though. Okay, I feel like I can comfortably mull down to 5 and still play a healthy game. Like with Burn, where... Is this Burn? This might be Burn, not sure yet. useless blood moon well I do have a seasoned pyromancer in hand so maybe not that useless come on opponent mismatched lands okay, so opponents on prowess we 
insta give that it sucks if I have to play this pyromancer here okay I need a third land ASAP though I think I always need to cast that pull there, even though it's it feels better to dart it. Um, might be a bird, might be a bird. So it's is it prowess? Okay. Ooh, a sprite dragon. can just kill it now, right? Okay, so I need a land. I also don't want to discard that Flame Slash. Okay, but I think that getting the... Or do I want to play Moon here? Now they play pretty well under Moon, right? They have Mana Morphos. This does put a lot of pressure on the board. When I get to chain them, it's pretty cool. Season Pyromancer really is an amazing card in my opinion. Okay, they even had a, a natural island. Okay, so good call on not playing the moon. I'm setting them out game too. Should be another sprite. No, so maybe this is the bird. The big bird with bolt protection. So now this flame slash would have been really great. Harcast light up the stage. Okay, we like to see that. And some pretty poor removal options. Okay, so I want land I want land here. Um I think I prefer going wide. I draw, ah, oh, yeah. Correct play. It's getting, like, Season Pyromancer does so much. And then, like, some cards that do a lot of things, Season Pyromancer actually does things that work well together, you know, putting pressure on the board and drawing cards, like, filtering bad cards. So, I think Season Pyromancer is the reason that this deck gets to play Blood Moon in the main and Flame Slash, because you can just discard them. Okay. That bird is eating a Flame Slash this turn. Uh, okay, he's... Is he shocking himself? That's a mistake. He should cast both of these, killing both my Pyromancer. Flame slashing that. Just to be sure. Attacking with everyone. Now it goes down to eight, so I do have lethal, I think. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No lethal. So I should. Hold on to my spells. They can act as removal. 
and that's very valuable. Uh, is 100% cracking that. Should crack it with the island. I'd make the mistake of cracking it with... Oh... It's really not worth it. It's really not worth it. Uh, he has a lava dart in the grave. Just have lethal here, right? Yep, okay. Alright, so it's a win game one. Uh, game two. I don't think that kills Elex return does enough. I think that I definitely don't want Moon. Definitely want Path. Uh, he's playing Bedlam Reveler, so I might want Relic. Because dealing with Bedlam is hard. Or is this over sideboarding? No, it isn't, because I don't want light up the stage. I want my answers to be in my hand and not be forced to play them. Like my opponent was forced to play his answers. I don't think that's... That was good for him, basically. Alrighty. Hmm. Sounds pretty good, right? Oh, that's good. That's very good. I get to kill it. I get to kill this turn one play, which is pretty amazing. Now, metamorphose into bird is a problem. But this into light up the stage isn't. That's a pretty poor. That's a pretty poor play. I'm playing Soul Scar into that. Actually, not. I'd rather see my opponent go burst lightning face. I'm fine with this. Do I play a Swift Speed or a Soul Scar here? I think I play a Soul Scar. Venom has a spell, 
I can still kill it. Oh, not if it's a spell, Peters. That sucks. Um, pains me to do this. I think I double dart it. The way my opponent's last turn played out, I think it, they don't have anything else. This works because state based actions dictate that. <sighs> okay, so I have an answer. So they're looking for threats, basically. So I get a turn to breathe. Get a turn to breathe, and breathe I will. That's a very good... Actually, yeah, the perfect draw off of that. This deals with any creature, and okay, I think my opponent's grasping now. Finally, the aggressor here, and well, just put that into the hand. Let's casually get our three-five, which is uh, a six-five. Just an attack for one, so I'm fine with taking it. This down. Let's actually try to kill it here. Let's play their own spell pierce. And I get to keep my get to keep my path for bigger creatures and my lava darts. My one lava dart. Another sprite dragon. Do I want to path this? Uh, yeah. Uh, we were drawing decently, like this lava dart. I just. I think I just cast it for lots of damage, then Relic. I think I crack Relic immediately and find this land. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I should definitely start talking through my through my gameplay more. I think when I started streaming I was doing that a lot. Um, then as, as time went on I stopped doing it as much. Because, I don't know, I don't know why I stopped doing it, I should really keep at it, it really helps me focus on what I should be doing and helps me consider what my opponents are doing and what they could do.
I need to get up this this leaderboard. It's a lot of people getting trophies. Okay. Finally on the draw. Look, Sand's not great. Double Threat and Lava Dart is fine. And Double Blood Moon is okay because, again, I'm playing Season Pyromancer. And that kind of helps. Might be a Bolt. If that's a bolt, my opponent's predisposing himself to play the control role, which I will gladly take with two swift spears in hand. Okay, so that's not a bolt, I'll assume. So what's my opponent on? Is it another prison deck? No. Okay. I don't want to find Lance Season Pyromancer. I don't think I want to shock myself here. Okay, I want to be sure what I'm playing against. It seems to be a mono red prowess. Weirdly enough, not with Obosh, so it might just be classic mono red. It's definitely classic mono red. Hmm. My line is dark light up the stage. Yeah, it's definitely a dark light up the stage trying to find a land for playing Pyromancer. Pretty much guaranteed that I find my third land here, right? I have three draws to find it. Ooh, do I cast a second one? I feel like that is a bit too greedy. But then again... Then again... Might as well, right? Oh! Absolute perfect draw there. Absolute perfect draw. Land Season Pyromancer, so I don't even get... I don't even have to play the one that's in my hands. This card's really amazing. Okay. I'm absolutely sold. Absolutely sold on Season Pyromancer. Bolting phase for light up the stage. Opponent's copying my plays. His whiffed. He's absolutely whiffed. Another firebolt. Actually, I'm gonna crack this. 
Cast it now. Discarding the Blood Moons because my opponent's on Mono Red. And these do absolutely nothing. It's a decent draw. Just skipping turn here. This mono red prowess. So what's my what's my next turn looking? Um, can play a pyromancer, but I, I don't want to discard a firebolt. Like two firebolts deal with battle Reveler here, which my opponent is casting. Oh no, it's his own season pyromancer. So I'm definitely killing that. Going Soul Scar and Flame Slash. Do not agree with that. Although he might have the the Bedlam. Ooh, when he kills mine. Sure. Is Bedlam online? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, Bedlam's online. That. Takes care of the bedlam problem. Uh, let me think a bit here. Actually, Obosh into hand. <laughs> Do I like that? Just Obosh in hand. <sighs> or do I prefer? getting this Spyro out first, because if I play this Spyro, I'm cycling away the two lands. Which isn't great value, because... Which isn't great value. It's just a 2-2. Two, two. Like, I actively want to find a land off of that. I think this is just Obosh in hand. Firebolt. My opponent's season Pyromancer. And say go. Yeah, and just take go. So I'm assuming my opponent's playing Bedlam Reveler, or else why would he not have Obosh? Realistically, it's the only card that justifies not playing Obosh. So I'm thinking Bedlam here. No, another Pyromancer. Okay. So Pyromancer. Get another elemental. And firebolting one of my own elementals. Oh, that I don't agree with that. Basically knows what's coming. I 
100% block this. Okay, so my play is... What is my play? <sighs> is my play Obosh? I think I definitely play Obosh here, right? I definitely play Obosh here. And am I doing anything else? Like, is. I don't think that this is ever incorrect. Just getting rid of that. Am I casting a fireball to the face? Or am I just killing these? I think that I kind of need to start racing here. Well, not racing, but going for damage. No, I don't think I'm blocking because of double spell. Well, that makes my firebolt a little bit worse. And another pyromancer. Okay, okay. Ah, there's a lava dart here. There's a land too. If that's a bolt these trade, I really don't want that. If that's a bolt, he can ultimate uh, I cannot block here, which sucks. I wouldn't should realize that he can attack with everything because I have to be scared of lightning bolt. Okay, so he doesn't have lightning bolt. It's basically my takeaway. Um, yeah, I think this Spyro is a decent play here. I'm I'm slashing the swift spear. I still can't attack cannot attack with Obosh. Yeah, I'm killing the Swift Spear here. I'm saying go. Now I think I win this race. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Absolutely do not think that my opponents. Please play something. Yes. Oh no. That's that does draw. So not something I want to see. Maybe I should just start firebolting face. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose on board. Just start firebolting face. There's basically nothing my opponent can do. Can't kill my Obosh as it stands. 
getting kind of low. <laughs> that bolt's really good. So I have lethal next turn, as long as Obosh lives. So I might need to do some math here. When it's on three. I should have done this last turn, to be honest. So he's playing something. What's he playing? What are you playing? Opponent. I think my opponent's best play is... Well, double spelling the Obosh. I actually just die if he removes my board. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, if he removes my board with any amount of spells, which needs to be necessarily uh, bigger than 2, I die. But if he doesn't, I win. So this is his last turn. Being his last turn... I think that if he had it, he would have done it by now. Maybe he has like three bolts. Oh, if he has three bolts. And he's deciding whether he slow rolls me and casts them when I tap these lands. Or I fetch for a basic. Don't do that to me, opponent. I'm tapped out, so just win. Just beat me if you can. Today I found out that Obosh works on every color. As I was thinking, it's weird that Obosh only works on red, since he's red black, and then I read the card and it was like, oh no, he works with every color. So now I kinda wanna build Obosh Ponza with some dumb green card that Obosh synergizes with. Opponent still thinking, that's fine. Uh, it's a tough turn for him. Assume he has resources, probably doing the math to know if he can. If he kills this, I block here. I do risk losing there. Okay, so he's going for it. Oh, it's the Blood Moon. Okay, when he declares attackers, I'll, I'll, I'll do my own math. But basically, I'm at 9 from Lava Dart. This actually helps me, what? I'm always dead to Bolt here. Okay, so he's just swinging with everything. Alright, let me do my own math here. He has a Lava Dart here. So I'm always dead to Bolt and Lava Dart from hand, which are his source, which are his instants. And I say that I'm always dead to those. Let's consider Firebolt 2. I'm basically dead to any spell, right? Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
Okay. So if I don't block the Swift Spear, I'm dead. If I don't block the Swift Spear, I'm absolutely dead. Can I win otherwise? So imagine if I block here, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. So I need to block the Swift Spear. Question is, do I win if I block the Swift Spear? I feel like there was a um, there was a point in the game where I misplayed, right? Is this from hand? So I lose, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I just lose. Okay, so maybe, so maybe I should have gone for the board. Like, if I kill this, then yeah. Okay, okay. That that was my that was my bad. I should have killed the Swift Spear. Swift Spear is too dangerous, basically. It might have been a while to find the line, but he did it. Uh, yeah, Swift Spear is too dangerous. Uh, okay, I do play Kozilex here. I assume he's playing Bedlam. Again, light, light up the stage isn't great, in my opinion. So the rest with paths. I like this. I like this. Oh, did he just for oh, God damn it, opponent? Did he just forget to declare it? That kind of messes up my game. Oh no, maybe he purposefully didn't. To juke. Ooh, that's actually spicy. That's actually pretty spicy. My relics are worthless here. Setting up the soul scar. I don't think I, I don't think I want to play a a bolt as a response because next turn I get to kill his turn and then. Okay. Honestly, this is, is probably a, an Obosh game. Just control everything until Obosh comes down. Just where I. I'm gonna call that one a mistake. I'm gonna call that one a mistake because like, playing defensively here, <laughs> my opponent goes for this is Pyromancer. I'll cause Alex return. If my opponent goes for Bone Crusher, I'll bolt it. It's a bit painful. This is a it's the Bone Crusher. Just casually bolt that.
I want to draw lands now. Just give lands, please, deck. Ooh, another bolt. Uh, yeah, I think I'll bolt it now. No reason not to, right? And if he's playing some mutagenic growth on this side, you never know. One card, it, the, the deck doesn't have space for it, I think, because Bone Crusher is just better as a tree drop. One card I thought about playing here is... It's a spicy one. It's a Goblin Chain Whirler, which might be good in a... Might be decent in a... I'm killing this now. If he has double spell as a response, I think I just take the loss. This will light up the stage. Yep. Okay. This is why I, I sided out all my light up the stage. Um, you don't want your cards being uncastable there. And it kind of sucks that I drew that soul scar because I actually like to play it now, but not playing a soul scar into its own demise. I'm just going for it. Oh, another light up the stage. Which also whiffed. So that's... I don't agree with that play. I think that's definitely a no wash to hand situation. This next turn he just casts the Obosh. And I'm basically screwed. I need a land. I need my opponent to basically drop lengths here. I can save my soul scar from a lightning bolt. It's not something I want to do. Swift spear is fine. Obosh in hand. Um, no lava darts in the graveyard for my opponent. So I think that plays correct when it's a pain land, but. I'll take it. I'm dead to double bolt, but like, let's be real, I'm dead to double bolt most of the times. Oh no, I'm actually dead to land Obosh bolt. I think I need to get this down though. No attacks. I'm not gonna attack here because if my opponent goes Obosh Swift Spear, I'll block. Obosh Swift Spear open mana, I'll block. I don't know, I might be dead. It sounds like I'm dead. My opponent's taking a lot of time to give me priority, so he probably has a card. 
have no plays. So I'll just skip turn. So opponent, am I dead? Did I throw game one into oblivion? Obosh, land, bolt. Ugh. Ugh. Can one my opponent let me hit him? Don't concede, opponent. Please let me deal you 21 damage. No. 12 plus 18 damage. Alright. So, um, I still want to take out relics. Yeah, relic goes out, right? For path. Actually, Relic resets the graveyard, and my opponent does play Season Pyromancer and Lavadar and Firebolt. I know I played him too, but I think I just changed the numbers there. Alright. Obosh mirror. Yep, because I am on the control. And Swift Spear is my worst card. <laughs> Weirdly enough, Swift Spear is my worst card here. Say, so play land go. No, land firebolt go, then land. Go. Put it also multi six. Okay, so my plan is simple land firebolt. Firebolt. Now, next, and I play land go. And I fetch white, if I get the chance to. I disagree with that. Another bolt, does that change things? By just killing this now, next and I play it, and then I have a board situation, or I play this and kill that. Next and I have top yeah, I actually think I like that more. Play Soul Scar. I kill this now. I'm um, sorry. Sorry game. I kill this now. Put my opponent on the defensive. Now next turn have... Depending on my opponent plays here, I could even hard cast Pwn Crusher. Start light up the stage. Uh, 
Ooh, and that's, that's an amazing draw for me. Um, do I play Bone Crusher here? And potentially screw myself off of my second color. I think it's worth it, to be honest. Tarcast Bone Crusher. Uh, I lost my magic online sound. Just random ass bug. Okay, 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 okay. We're in a great position. <coughs> um, I think opponent needs to play them, yeah. Ah, uh, Flame Slash kind of sucks here. Does he not have a land, though? I don't agree with his play if he doesn't have a land. Okay, I don't agree with that at all. I get to do this. Do this. Now let's attack first. If he blocks, I... Oh, he has a Lava Dark in the grave. So thank god he didn't do that. Uh, I'm keeping the Flame Slash alive, yeah. I'm at 12, which is pretty healthy. My opponent's on one card in his hands, on two lands. Yeah, he's, he's not looking good. Not looking good. That's good. Okay, so can I find the land here? Okay, basic even. Oh, wash down. You can firebolt next turn if he plays the Bone Crusher. Land Bone Crusher, I firebolt it. I do go down to 10, but my opponent goes down to 9. And I have the removal for next turn on one mana, so I can like cycle away. Uh, lands, I can play bolts to face. Oh, don't, don't double bolt it. Wait, is that a light up the stage? It's the saddest light up the stage I've ever seen. I think I put him concedes here. He should, wait, he's on three minutes? What the hell? Why is my opponent on three minutes? Hmm. I think we can all agree that my opponent's never really hitting wash this game. Bun should concede. He's running out of time. Like Realistically, the clock is a resource in magic. Actually, okay, so of course uh, that it couldn't happen because the card is so good already, but I'm a bit bummed out that um, uh, what's it called? That's Season Pyromancer doesn't do anything on discarding lands. Seems like it should, right? Oh, wait, that was game three? Wait. I 
Game 2. Game 1, Game 2. I did win Game 2. How did I win Game 2? Honest to God, I can't remember Game 2 there. Remember Game 1 I misplayed? How did I win Game 2? That's really funny. I legitimately don't remember my Game 2 there. Okay, we beat the mirror. Now we are on to something. What will it be? I low-key want to face the Omnath deck. Uh, this is probably another prowess variant. I do have to mold this. Ooh, no, wait. It's not awful. You know, I have it's a, another prowess, so I get to turn one bolt their threat, turn two. Pray they don't have another threat. <laughs> and then turn three. Hopefully, moon. My human's opponent. No, it's, it's prowess. I think. Wait a minute. Maybe it isn't prowess. Maybe it isn't prowess. My hand's much worse right now. I thought it was prowess. But it's some blue soup. Is it actually Omnath? My god, it actually is Omnath. Uh, I kill that for sure. My god, we're playing against Omnath, boys. Uh, I, remember, I remember that I wanted to play against Omnath because of the icon my opponent's, like the avatar my opponent has. And, okay, Blood Moon is poop here, so... I needed a land. I really needed a land there. <clears throat> Run. Taking care of it. This could go long. This could go long, so I think that taking care of it isn't bad. Uh, I seriously need a land here. <clears throat> Wait. Oh, it put Giganta in hand. Does that mean... It's on four mana, no place, tells me my opponent doesn't have anything. Come on, just give me a land game. One simple land. It's turn five and I haven't drawn a land. I think my opponent's playing Gigantha next turn. Oath digging. That's Sahili. And is this an Omnath? It is the Gigantha. Kind of forced to kill that, right? I'm actually happy I drew a second Flame Slash to take care of uh, Omnath. Ooh. 
do I just lose here? I do, right? Okay, I'll concede. They gain haste. Yeah, okay. Okay. So what do I want? I don't have a lot of basics, but I think that a four color deck should struggle against that. I actually like my actually like my my main board against this. I just kept uh I got baited into thinking my opponent was playing something else. Which is technically my fault, because obviously I should Obviously, I should always check what decks play Gigantha. Yeah, they do. Like it's it's standard practice because it's free, right? That's what I don't like about the companions. Um, the way they nerf them makes building around them. I honestly don't love this. Oh, that's even worse. Actually, even worse. But I gotta keep it. I actually gotta keep it. Wow. Okay, I, I need to stop here to play a land. Hopefully my opponent opens up with a Trium. Hmm. It's actually good. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Here's my master plan. Master plan. Okay, everything working so far. I want him to see a light up the stage to bait him into thinking, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, please don't play a basic. I can't play Moon here because Remand exists, Aether Gust exists, Celestial Celestial Purge exists. Actually, let's try to bait a, a Remand. Huh. What if I do? Having the dart in the graveyard is more relevant here. Yes, 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 please play a walker. Please play a walker. Please play a, a shockland and a walker. Or I guess a mountain. Come on, opponent. I want to bait something. Yes. All right, all right, that kind of works. They fetch here for 
the basic they need. Fetched green. Huh. Maybe I should have cast the second moon because. Uh, oh, yeah, he's gonna. What? Sahili? Still gets to play Sahili though. Does Sahili solve this? Oh, puts Giganta in hand. Oh, you know mine's bigger, right? Okay, this fixes mana under Bloodman, so I need a removal spell. It's actually so easy. I'm playing the second moon now because I want to play around Either Gust or Celestial Perch. It doesn't play around Force, but it plays around. I don't think they even play Force. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll keep the same plan. Boy, oh boy, do I hope I draw some something good. I need a strong opener. My opponent's... Ah, this is not a strong opener. God damn it. Ooh. Not only is this a strong opener, it's... has moon. Uh, Utopia Sprawl. Naming blue. Ooh, naming red. Wait. Naming red. Ah, he has lightning elix in hand, doesn't he? He has a lightning elix in hand. Still entertain him. He helix this. Ooh. Uro. Okay. It's kind of not expect. Yeah, but they do play Uro. Do play Uro. I need to play aggressive here. Best case scenario. It's not the best case scenario, but oh, it's really not the best case scenario. to play basically that's a good card not gonna lie still mooning my opponent because now they can't really 
fix their mana to play this is a fiery justice Ooh, a cat a kitty cat blinking omnath sure no Renin six fetching mountain Basically, um, 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 okay, so. Decisions, decisions. I think I need Obosh to win this game. Sure, Sahili wins here. And this stops Sahili, but I think I really need Obosh here. It's my only ticket out. It's a bold attack. But it does it does put me low? Okay, so basically needs. Okay, so I I, I basically lose, right? Yeah. Just how many basics does this deck play? Like one of each and two forest. And you found you found the white naturally. I need a flame slash here. So this is just lethal, basically. Okay. A uh, pretty dumb deck, I gotta say. It's exactly as I feared. This deck is really strong. Because... I still have enough play points for a league. Not that I'm playing it today. Okay, I still do. Cool, 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 cool. Um, what was I saying? Okay, first of all... I'm really happy with the Obosh list. Um, I like the White Splash, I like the Blood Moons in the main. Seasoned Pyromancer overperformed in my opinion. Was really good. What else? What else? What else? I think that's basically it. Um, also, I think that Omnat, this Omnat deck is too good. Like, the ability to play basically any card in the sideboard is pretty bonkers. And you would think they fold under Blood Moon, but because they play... Uh, what do they play? They play Aethergust, Celestial Purge, and Cleansing... That This, this is the real uh, problem with Blood Moon against this. They play Cleansing Wildfire in the side, so they can actually fix their mana under Blood Moon. And that's a real problem, in my opinion. It's a real problem. Either way, thank you for watching and see you next time. I'll definitely try to improve my gameplay with this deck. I feel like games 1 and 2 were completely 
completely lost uh, because of me. So this 2-3 could have been a 4-1 maybe. I did lose, lose the mode too, but still. Um, I'll try to, to get better at this deck. I might build Ponza. I'm actually super tempted on just playing some Ponza too. One of these days. So yeah. We're just uh I'm always I'm always favored to playing another burn league, so I also have this cool Naya Whackfall list that plays eight steplings, eight whackers, and even plays eight guides. Because Guide Beast returns lands to hand to trigger uh, this. Or even no, that's basically it to trigger to continuously trigger landfall. I do have an abosh list, which I will say right away that I'm putting season pyromancer here, just because it discards like maybe some. This list have surgical in the side, but I might change it to relic or maybe a split. I'm not sure. Still, I have plenty of red decks to play, so I might play one of those next time. Not sure. Either way, see ya.